you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare. I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best. Look at that, I got a brush here right in the middle of my lips. And I have the tools and the resources to help you get there. Today I'm gonna share with you how to create this gorgeous Snoky Eye look. It's super easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I cannot wait to show you how simple it is. So let's just dive right into it. So I'm gonna it. start out going in with, this is Moochstruck Addiction Shadow Palette number two. It's beautiful, silvers, grays, black. I'm gonna take my deluxe brush and I'm gonna go into the pigment here called Romantic. And I'm gonna just apply this all over the lid. I did go ahead and start out first with my eye primer. I normally do a little video and I post it up in the corner for you, but I forgot this morning. I'm in a hurry, so I'm doing this as quickly as possible. Again, just applying this all over the lid, and I know you're thinking, OMG, what is she doing? Just bear with me. It's going to turn out fabulous, I promise. The What happens is when you use that eye primer, it really allows those pigments to pop it prevents them from creasing and it holds them in place all day long. And I like to just put down a single pigment all over the lid as a base. I could have gone in with this gray color honorable as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my fluffy crease brush. I'm going to go into honorable and I'm going to focus that in the crease. And I'm just going to do this pretty quick and again just kind of taking that pigment on the brush. And I'm not too worried about like exact placement. I'm just trying to add a little bit of depth to the crease. Just like that, bringing it up a little bit higher and into the inner corner as well. So you can see that depth I'm adding. All right, tapping off any excess and now I'm going in quickly on the other side as well. I love the fluffy crease brush. It's a great combination of our blending brush and our crease brush. It's like they got together and had a little brush baby named the Fluffy Crease Brush, and I am here for it. I love it. So I need to bring it up a little bit higher here as well. And again, I don't have my face makeup on, so I'm not worried about this being super duper perfect at this point in time. I'm just throwing on some pigment. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my crease brush, I'm gonna go in with this darker color here called Cocky, and again, I'm gonna focus that in the outer corner and into the crease, a little bit more of a targeted placement. I like to bring it up a little bit higher than when I open my eyes. You can see that pigment, but you can see just building that depth and that color in the outer corner there. This is a great smoky eye palette, and the pigments, I love the pigments because you can mix and match different combinations to create the look that you're going for. And this one I need to make a little bit more sloppy. You can continue to build the depth of that color depending on how dark you want to go. And again, that crease brush just gives you a little bit more targeted placement than that fluffy crease brush. You know, it's a little bit looser of a, of a brush. So now I'm gonna go in with my blending brush and this is when I'm gonna make the magic happen. I'm gonna blend all of that out. So now it looks nice and smooth and even in that crease. Pulling the pigment in. Look at that. See how nice and clean that looks compared to this over here. So that's why you definitely need to make sure you have some type of a blending brush that really allows you to blend those pigments out and help you achieve the look that you're going for. This side's still a little sloppy, but that's okay because I will go through with my foundation and I will clean all of that up. And then the last thing I'm gonna do really quick before I take a moment to do my foundation, I'm gonna go in with this pigment here, Blissful, and I'm going to take my cream shadow brush, press it on there, and then press that onto the lid. This is that gorgeous silver metallic pigment that looks so, so good. Love that. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? So good. So again, just kind of pressing that all over the eyelid. And then what I'm gonna do, take that blending brush, that's not my blending brush. Where's my blending brush? There it is. 
and I'm gonna blend that out again making sure I don't have any harsh lines so I'll be right back I'm gonna go in I'm gonna do my face makeup and then I'll come back to clean up the rest of this look but this is a great start now point. that I have like my makeup the rest of it done let's go into some more details with the eyes all right this is where we really get into the nitty-gritty of things what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna take that honorable on my crease brush and I'm going to smoke out the lower waterline. What this does is it really helps bring that eye makeup look together. And also if you, do you see the difference there? Look at that. It just really brings it together. I'm telling you, I love this tip. And I just started doing this within the last year or so after watching some different videos and tutorials. And like I said, just really happy with how this brings the look all together. Now I'm gonna go in with that darker color cocky Focus that just in the outer corner, kind of bring it up. And I'm gonna take some more of that pigment and just put that in the crease there, just again to kind of darken that up a little bit. Do you see that difference? Love it. Love how it just really starts to bring the look together when you smoke that out and then you just add a little bit more detail that you're going for. Just focusing it mainly in the outer corner. And again, I'm gonna take that blending brush, I'm dropping everything. Taking that blending brush and just kind of lightly blending that out. Not going as crazy as I was before because I've really cleaned up this look overall and I'm not trying to change a whole lot with it because I'm really pleased with how this is looking, all right? So then what I'm gonna do, just to really brighten up the inner corner, which I think it's in pretty good shape, but I'm gonna just take a little bit of that Blissful and put that right there in the inner corner, just to make sure that that's nice, nice and light. Bring it down the inner corner a little bit, up into the eyelid corner there, just a little bit. Again, I like I just like to make sure that that inner corner is really bright. For some reason, I feel like on my eye, it gets dark really, really quick. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black eyeliner and I'm going to line my eyes. My tip is to kind of store it upside down so that way the liner gets onto the end of the tip. And I like to just stamp it. I'm not going to do anything dramatic or crazy. This is just really going to help frame the eye and bring the look all together. It also gives the appearance of a fuller lash line. All right, so going back in now on the other side, I am almost out of eyeliner. I'm gonna have to order another one. Again, just taking it to the side, I'm left-handed. So I never, I joke and say, I never really learned how to draw a straight line. And so the stamping technique, I stayed away from liquid liner for the longest time. That stamping technique helps me so, so much. And then in case you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, I'm wearing the Lip Butter and the Color Scenic Drive. That's all there is to it, I love it. So now I'm taking the white liner in the color Pristine. It's a pencil liner. I love to put this in the waterline to help really brighten up the eye look as well. So I'll go in, I'll do some mascara, and I will be back. There you have it, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I love to do kind of step-by-step -step and sharing with you techniques that I'm using. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, let me know that in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, so that way anytime I post a new video, you are notified. Have a great day.